Xi Jinping, this was a diplomatic triumph. He, not US President Donald Trump, now the first world leader to meet Kim Jong-un. Chinese state-controlled media waited until Kim was back home before confirming what officials had tried so hard to deny just a day earlier. In the Great Hall of the People, Kim and his wife were welcomed like old friends. Appearance is important at times like this. She opted for a business suit, whereas Kim stuck to the look favored by his father and grandfather. The wives of both men were present during most of the photo opportunities. Visits like this are all about symbolism. For Xi, it served as a reminder that China still holds sway over its neighbor and intends to be at the center of diplomatic efforts to achieve a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. It's not clear what made Kim come to Beijing or indeed what incentives he may have been offered to do so. But China remains North Korea's only real friend and ally, so it's fair to assume that President Xi Jinping might want to know what Kim's negotiating strategy will be during his upcoming summit with President Trump. Kim's visit made it possible for China to know what North Korea will be talking about to South Korea and the United States in its discussions on denuclearization. China has also learned what North Korea's demands will be, which will help China. It's a visit that would have seemed unimaginable just a few months ago, when North Korea was ignoring Chinese appeals for restraint. At an exhibition showcasing some of China's technological achievements, the message appeared to be, we can help you with all of this if you behave. China's leaders are fond of metaphors. At a lavish banquet, Xi told his guest that in the beautiful season of spring, everything comes to life. Kim replied, I believe our meeting will yield abundant fruit. That could mean making good on his commitment to give up nuclear weapons. The fruits of spring were apparent in the garden of the state guest house, where friendship also seemed to blossom. Xi accepted an invitation to visit North Korea and told Kim he was welcome to visit China again. The visitors left happy. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.